All right, open your presents on three, one, two. Merry Christmas, you fruity goops. Oh boy, I miss my innards. Hey, everybody, Pear here with Marshmallow. Yay! And Grapefruit. Good morrow. Today, we're doing the Christmas present challenge. These two will take turns picking gifts without knowing what's inside. One person will get a good present, the other will get coal. Yay! I love Christmas and presents and absolutely everything about this challenge! Grapefruit, do you share Marshy's enthusiasm? Pear, I'll attempt to keep this brief. I came into today's challenge with a plan. I'm going to use all of my senses, all of my cunning, all of my strategy to identify good presents. For five hours this morning, I mentally prepared myself for this moment. I hired a chef to cook an optimal game day meal specifically designed for me. Meanwhile, Marshmallow is over there getting distracted by a floating piece of lint. Yay! It's floating! It's floating! This is my favorite bug! Marshmallow, that's not a bug. It is lint. Oh, I love that name! I'm naming this bug Lint! <laughs> Here, I believe we can see the writing on the wall. This Christmas present challenge isn't going to be close. It's going to be a bloodbath. And when that bloodbath is over, I will be going home with a slew of incredible gifts. And Marshmallow will be going home with NBC. And nothing but coal. Wow, strong words. Well, I guess we should get right to it. I suppose we should. I caught Lint, and I'm keeping him in this jar. What should I feed Lint? How about some coal? You're about to have a bunch of that laying around. <laughs> This is too easy. Okay, you two, here is your first round of gifts. Grapefruit, you pick first. Which gift will you open? Interesting. Here we have a lumpy, heavy, coal-shaped gift. And here we have a bicycle-shaped gift. My, what a difficult decision. Shall I go with the coal-shaped gift or the bicycle-shaped gift? Oh, can I have the bicycle-shaped gift? I think there's coal in that one. You may not have the bicycle-shaped gift, for I have chosen it for myself. Take the coal-shaped present and the inevitable loss that comes with it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Open your presents on three. One, two, three. What? Uh, a bicycle? Lint can't eat this. How the? This was supposed to be a bicycle. If you don't want that coal, can I feed it to Lint? Lint does not eat coal. Oh, sure enough. You're eating the bicycle. Okay, round one goes to Marshmallow. Here comes round two. Refocus, Grapefruit. You got this. Marshmallow, which gift will you choose? Hmm, well, the obvious choice would be to choose the present shaped like a car-shaped piece of coal. Oh, for crying out loud. But I'm going to follow my gut and go with this present, because it's shaped like a coal-shaped treasure chest. All right, take your gifts, you two. Open them on three. One, two, three. What is happening? It's like eating precious metal, just like I hoped it would. Yippee! This is the greatest Christmas ever. <laughs> well, that does it for today's challenge video, everyone. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. No, this will not stand. I demand another round. I refuse to leave here with two pieces of coal. Okay, um, I guess we could do a lightning round. Yay! I love lightning. Yes, great, a lightning round. Let's do it! We didn't have presents prepared, but I guess we can have Orange whip something together. Hey, Orange! Present! <laughs> nah. Hey, Orange, can we get a couple gifts? We're doing a last-minute lightning round. On it! Okay, focus up, Grapefruit. This is your chance. If you can pick a good present, this will all have been worth it. Okie dokie, here you go. Thank you, Orange. All right, Grapefruit, which gift do you pick? Hmm, identically shaped boxes. Very clever. Well, not clever enough, because when I shake this box, it sounds exactly like a lump of coal. Ergo, I select that gift. Final answer. Okay, great. Everyone have their boxes? One, two, three. TNT? What? It was last minute, and I had a bunch laying around. I'm actually okay with this. I don't have a use for it, but what's important is that I got the good gift, because Mashy got the coal. Coal? Yeah, the other gift is supposed to be coal. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Then what did Marshy get? Yay! I love lit candles. Now let's see if Lint likes it too. Marshmallow, don't. Woo! He's really taking to it. Yes, yeah, baby. He loves it so much he's flying again. Go, Lint, go! No! Ah! Happy holidays, you fruitcakes. Orange here, and today I'm 
hosting the Christmas Carol Challenge. Let's meet our first contestant, Grapefruit. Hello, Orange. Pleasure to be here. I have an encyclopedic mind where Christmas carols are concerned, so I like my chances. Confident. Me likey. And now let's meet our second competitor, Little Apple. Hey, I appreciate you keeping it so short. <laughs> All right, let's do it to it. Correctly named Christmas carols for points, and the winner gets this mystery present. Ooh. Okay, Little Apple, you're up. You have 10 seconds to name this tune. Oh man, I'm so bad at remembering lyrics like this. Five seconds. Oh, I, I swear I can almost hear the words in my head. Hurry. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna go with, um, Goop will find you. Wow, I'd like to say nice try, but I'm not sure I can even muster it for a guess like that. Let's go to the board. Little Apple says the title is Goop will find you. That answer is <laughs> correct. What? Goop will find the who, what? Goop will find you. Whew. Glad I remember the words in time. I can't believe you've never heard the tune before, Grapefruit. I've heard the tune before, but we appear to have a fundamental misunderstanding about literally everything else. No, oh, you know the lyrics. Christmas Goop will always find you. Goop, 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 goop. What the heck kind of Christmas carols have you two been listening to? That tune was obviously Deck the Halls. Deck the what now? Deck the Halls. It's very famous, you know? Deck the halls with bulge of holly. Fa la 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 la. Yeah, not ringing a bell. Better luck next round, Grapefruit. Cool, thanks. This is insanity. All right, Grapefruit, you have 10 seconds to name this tune. Easy, Jingle Bells, final answer. Grapefruit says it's Jingle Bells. Is that the answer? <laughs> Sorry, that's wrong. What? How? Maybe you should have let the song play out a little longer. Yeah, I, I guess so. Huh. Little Apple, you can steal if you know the title to the famous Christmas carol that we just played. I know it well, Orange. That was Goop Your Dog. Final answer. That is correct. Ten more points to Little Apple. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Goop Your Dog? Did you not have a childhood, dude? Goop, Goop your, your dog, slang your bird, dump go on your cat. Bebo Beal lost a wheel and Joker gooped his pants. Like, I really want to just flip the board right now and walk away, but somehow both of you know all these songs? Everyone knows these songs, Grapefruit. If you say so. Wait, I'm not getting pranked, am I? This isn't a Christmas episode of Fish Barception or something, is it? Nope, you're just really bad at this game. <laughs> now, it's time for the lightning round. This one's head to head and it's triple points. That means it's anybody's game. It also means the first two rounds were completely pointless. But okay. Little Apple, Grapefruit, here are your buzzers. First one to correctly name this Christmas Carol wins. Here it is. Grapefruit has buzzed in. What's your guess? Uh, I guess I'll say, I don't know, Silent Goop? Incorrect. Figured, was worth a shot. Little Apple, do you know the answer? Of course, that's Silent Night. Correct! Little Apple is not only one, he's absolutely demolished Grapefruit, who somehow doesn't even know Silent Night when he hears it. Uh, but I did know it! I knew that one was Silent Night! Oh yeah? Then why didn't you say it? Because every answer has had Goop involved somehow. How was I supposed to know that the final answer wouldn't have Christmas Goop involved in any way, shape, or form? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Grapefruit. You haven't even seen what the loser gets. Yeah? And what's that? Little Apple, now would be a good time to open your present. Okay. No, 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 no. Merry Christmas, you fruity goops. We'll see you next time. Happy holidays, everyone. For today's challenge video, Grapefruit and I are attempting the impossible. We're gonna try to drink a gallon of eggnog in an hour without vomiting. This is gonna be so easy. Really? Oh yeah, I drink a gallon of eggnog all the time. No problemo. Give me that thing. Cheers! Hope you're prepared to witness me set a world record. Okay, well, looks like Grapefruit is off to a hot start. That's right. My strategy is to front load the hour with a lot of eggnog, then very little eggnog during the second... <laughs> 
Wow. Well, looks like we got a new world record on our hands, all right. A world record for weakest attempt at the gallon challenge of all time. It wasn't the eggnog. I probably just burped because I got nervous. I do that sometimes. Give me another gallon. Another one? Do you not have ears or something? Yes, another gallon. Restart the clock. Go. Okay. Uh, looks like Grapefruit is employing the same exact strategy as before. Ah, that is crisp. Much better. How do you feel? Like a zillion bucks. The nerves are gone and I'm sitting pretty. Glad to hear it. Well, I'm gonna start drinking my eggnog now. Pro tip, you're gonna wanna go hard right from the get-go. An hour flies by faster than one might expect. <laughs> and looks like grapefruit's done. Grapefruit is in no way done. Restart the clock. I've got this 100% under control. <laughs> Grapefruit, are you okay, dude? Just gonna need a minute. I somehow just expelled more liquid than could have possibly fit inside me. <laughs> okay, well, you gave it a valiant effort, but... What are you talking about? I'm not giving up. You can't be serious. Give me another! Restart the clock! Um... Do it! Grapefruit doesn't quit. I feel like this isn't the wisest decision. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Wow, you're chugging that pretty fast, dude. Maybe you should slow down. Wow, are you going through the entire gallon right off the bat? Mm-hmm. Done. Unbelievable. Told you I could do it. <laughs> well, you still have to keep it down for an hour. Meh, that won't be a problem. Um, what was that? Just a little stomach gurgling. Totally natched. No big deal. I'm cool. Hey, hand me another, would you? A second gallon of eggnog? Why not? If I'm gonna set a world record, I might as well smash it, right? No, I, I can't in good conscience do that, Grapefruit. I don't need your permission! One, two, three, go! And done. Now I'm just gonna stand over here if that's all right. Ah, uh, feels good. Maybe I'll even go for three. Yeah, tell you what, hand me a third gallon and I'll drink yeah! Holy moly, that's a lot of liquid! How is this even possible? Grapefruit? Are... are you alive? Yes, just a bit deflated. Dude, you're completely deflated. You're like two-dimensional right now. Yeah, I guess I buffed out my entire innards. <laughs> Joke's on me. <laughs> oh boy, I miss my innards.